Hi, welcome to Pace Crafting Creations. Thanks for taking time out every day to hang out, chit chat, craft, and create with me. Today I'm coming on with hashtag deck the year. And I think we're on week 40 already. I've already started prepping my card. So I double sided taped this side of my card and this side I glued on. And the reason I did that is because I'm using the dictionary page and I don't know um, how well it would be with the background of the card, um, how well what I want to do is going to pop on there. So I took some cream colored cardstock and I glued that on there. And I'm just going to glue this piece of dictionary paper. I love the feel of this paper. I'm just going to smooth that on there. Because it's such a thin paper, I think it's like a vellum. They call it nothing just does not want to stand up so I'm thinking that having that background will help what I want to my plan if it works <laughs> if it works um, will show better having that rather than the bright colors of the card pop through oh, this paper is so beautiful that it would be great for envelopes and whatnot but I don't know how well it would work on the envelope punch board so that is going to be one of my things to try and see how well the dictionary paper is going to work on there and see how well it works on everything like right now we're going to do some inking because you know I love to ink do you doubt that? So my plan is to use this gorgeous tree down here and have these colors be in the background. So that's my thinking. So what I want to do is because it's not going to be affected, I really think that will look really gorgeous down there. So it won't be affected by the water because I'm going to use the archival. I'm going to do that first. I just think it'd be really gorgeous and I really want to get it nice and black so it shows up really saturating it so that it shows up everywhere on here and for those that are new um, deck the year is you take a single card or multiples depending on what you like to do and you alter it a card a week for the year we're on week 40 and it's an open collaboration you can jump in and jump out you don't have to do all 52 if you don't want to that's the beauty of it and you can do any size card you want it doesn't have to be a um deck of cards like i'm using the jumbo card this time it didn't come out as beautiful as I'd hoped, but I think it's still pretty. What do you think? Think it's still pretty? I think it's still pretty. Still quite pretty. And I think it's because right here, that separation in the paper. So you get that really dark, dark, and then kind of lightened a little bit right there push that down eliminate some of that and that's all we're gonna need that for and I have a moon so I kind of want to do the moon after so I was thinking start with the tea dye down here on the bottom and while I'm applying these I'll tell you about the different channels that are participating in this collaboration we've had I think it's 46 now up to 46 that have participated in some part of the collaboration whether they've participated once or more than once um, they are Elma Tyser, Annie Creates, The Blonde Amazon, um, A Bullet for My Snail Mail, The Becca JB, uh, Black Whisper Crafts by Mimi with Love, Carolina Bug, Crafting Rose, uh, the Crafting Shed Davies, Crafting Diva, Darla Phillips, Dinah Loves Color, Debbie Jean's This and That. And then we have 
uh, Deb Houck's Crafty Cottage, Emily's Paper Caper, Gwen the Trash Witch, Fairy Keely's Hobbies, Just Donna Maria, Jenny, Nin Jenny Ginger Ninja Crafts. I'm just trying to go around the tree because I don't want to get in there and lose too much of that. So we have Jenny Ginger Ninja Crafts. Um, Kendra Full of Joy, Kim's Inspired Life, Linda's Creative Life, and then we have My Reality Crafts, Mary Ellen's Crafts and Halls, Martha Makes Art, Martha Makes Art, Miss J00, Miss Crafty Girl 42, Mania Gravy's Homestead, Pam's Treasures, and then there is Paper Muse, Petey Pie Designs, Pine Holler LTD. And I'm kind of blending them around when I go here. Uh, Scrapbooks and Memories, Susan's Heartstrings, Sassy Seven, NC Girl, Steffi Creates, uh, Sunflowers and Crafts, T Friday 77, T Ho Creates. Ooh, that one went really dark right there, didn't it? Tiho Creates, then we have Treasured Memories, Crafting Whimsy, Vividly on Paper, Silver Moon Creations, Tammy Van Antwerp, and Free Spirit Arts. And I want to thank everybody that is participating. I really enjoyed seeing everybody's creations and how they're doing everything. A lot of people have shown their cards in multiple cards. There are some that do multiple cards at once. And that is fine as well. So I'm just taking and blending and back in after <laughs> and then moving them out of the way. So that color was spiced marmalade. And we started with tea dye and now we're going into dried marigold. Kind of rainbowing our way up the, the page here. I should have done the dried marigold first but I wanted a little bit brighter down by that tea dye and I'm just taking my brush and kind of twirling it they're not meant for inking but I really love how they work <laughs> they work so well with inking they're actually made for makeup and I want to say I got them all off of Timu in their makeup department that's good for that one. And I'm going to take that orange that we did and blend it in here. So we get a nice blend of coloring. Next, we're going to go into the mustard seed. This one is going to be really bright. Really, really bright. But beautiful at the same time. I love the layering of the colors. And so far, I will say the dictionary page is working beautifully. It is absorbing those colors very nicely. But I'm hoping that it absorbs the water just as nicely. So next I'm going in with Scattered Straw. And this is a newer color to me. And I wanted to ink up the whole page. Wow, that's a bright color too. I kind of, I think I had red on this. But it didn't mark up my red on there, so it's kind of turning it reddish orange. I think I didn't, I thought I cleaned my brushes. But I think I might have missed one. So that one's got a little bit of orangey to it mixed in there. A little bit of red. Happy accident. Kind of looks good. Alright, I'm going to take the black and I'm going to go here as well. And I want that moon to be nice and big. And I think I want it a little bit on an angle. And I'm doing it in black because I want it to pop off that color there, just like that. 
have a couple of stars I can put too. So it looks like it's like coming on to sunset and the stars are just starting to come out. I'm turning them as I go as well. So you can barely see the stars on there, but so far I'm really happy with how this is looking. Now we're going to do my favorite. We're going to take paintbrush and I'm using a longer brush this time. Oh, that sun is streaking right across my desk, isn't it? So I'm dipping it right in my water bottle and we're going to tap. And this is going to be the part where I'm hoping it reacts really well and we get some beautiful distressing and oxidation on our page and that that water is going to look gorgeous. <laughs> I really hope it looks gorgeous. I'm kind of nervous, so I'm adding a little bit extra water to it, I think. <laughs> okay, so we've got that. Now what I want to see when I put this paper towel down is color come off the page. We've got some. Oh, I think it might work. We have some color coming off that page onto our paper towel. That's a good sign. That's a good sign. We have a little bit of water releasing there. It's not as much as I'd hoped, but we have a little bit of water coming off of there. Let's go ahead with some more water. We might have to do this in steps where it's so thick. So let's tap, tap, tap in one area and then push down, hold it. Not getting much and that knocking was my Kitty's water bottle. One of the girls is over there getting a drink. Okay, so it does work. It's not as great as I hoped it would be, but I like it still. I still like it. I think it's still pretty. Maybe when it dries more, it will look prettier. Maybe. So that is my card for this week. I'm hoping that it dries a little bit more and I may come back in with some stickling. I'm not 100% sure, but I have to wait for the paper to dry first. So that's my card for this week. Uh, check out the hashtag and see all the wonderful creations that everybody's done for their cards. Thanks for watching. Have a great day and I will see you in the next video.